In case we have the probability distribution for the set of variables, a probability distribution of the subset, is called the marginal probability distribution. We will now try to find the marginal probability distributions, given the joint probability of two variables. In this table, we have a joint probability for two unfair coins, to either display heads, or tails. For example, the probability for both coins A, and B, to display tails, is one ninth. We will now try to find the individual probabilities for A, and B, to either display heads, or tails. This is done using the sum rule, which essentially tells us, to add up the probability of every event, in which the outcome, is what we're interested in. Let's now find the probability for the coin A, to display heads. From the table, we can see that there are a total of two outcomes, where A displays heads. One, is when A, and B, both display heads, with probability 4 ninths. Another, when A displays heads, and B, displays tails, with probability 2 ninths. Adding up these two probabilities, we find that the probability for the coin A, to display heads, is 2 thirds. Let's now find the marginal probability for the coin A, to display tails. The joint probability for both coins to display tails, is 1 ninth. The probability for the coin A, to display tails, and for the coin B, to display heads, is 2 ninths. Adding these two values, we find that the probability for the coin A, to display tails, is 1 third. For the continuous variables, the process is similar, except we would use integration, instead of summation. We should now be familiar, with finding the marginal probabilities. Finding the probabilities for the coin B, to display either heads, or tails, is left as an exercise for the viewer.